Hey guys, I got a new uh, piece of tech here. It's a uh, UV sterilizer. So this one uh, I got from my local fish store and um, I've also seen some other options that are like hang on types, but this one goes inside the back chamber. So it's uh, Innovative Marine, which I know makes a lot of uh, all-in-one kind of devices you can make, use like uh, skimmers or um, you know, refugium lights for the back chamber there. So this one's the biggest one, well it claims to be the highest powered for an all-in-one system. It says uh, 10 watts, this is a 10 watt UV bulb. And it's a sealed bulb, so you don't have to worry about like um, the chamber being watertight, or at least you should, you should still check it, um, which I have done to make sure that there's no leaks and whatnot. Um, and, but yeah, I mean, other than that, it's a pretty easy setup, maintenance free. Um, it comes with a little DC pump on the bottom there. And then you kind of just put that on and then it's got its own little hanger for the back there. And it just slides in. You can put it into, I have it on my water box um, aquarium here. So I'll show you guys that now. <laughs> yeah, so I've installed it here and um, I wasn't too sure which chamber I was going to put it into because I do have a refugium there with some dragon's breath in there. I found the dragon's breath doesn't move around as much and it's been working pretty good. So this is the, the UV sterilizer here and this is also how you change the rate of um, flow through the sterilizer. So right now I have it on max just to kind of test it out. I've only had it installed for a day. But it's an easy just twist and at the bottom there it opens or closes the orifices to the the light so right now i have it full maxed up i was just gonna kind of like let it run for a bit see how clear clear the water will go i know i had a little bit of um uh like brown water if you turn the lights on to white and then we'll see how long that works so it's right here i got a lot of stuff going on back here but it worked pretty good, you know, I just put it down there and then it clamps on and it's only it's only like two and a quarter inches wide. So I could have put it in here and I was going to, but then my heater's there and I like to keep my heater um, away from other things just so it's not like burning anything or, um, you know, causing issues. I had to move my refugium light to the other side, so I got a lot of stuff going on on that side right now, but I like it so far. It works really well and... Um, I mean, it's been running since yesterday, and I'm not too sure um, how clear the water is. I, I mainly got it for Dynatoms, because I am having some Dynatomer issues, um, which, I you know, I've been dosing Microbacter 7 and numerous other things. Oh, let's see if it focuses there. <laughs> Obviously I got some cyano and stuff, but I usually use ChemiClean for cyano. So I'm kind of letting the dinos and the, the uh, cyano kind of battle it out. I got a new torch there, which I haven't really shown off. I picked up that yesterday as well. A little red Ghani, got it for pretty cheap, only 45 bucks for the whole thing. So, and then there's an emerald crab in there too, which I picked up the other day, he's hiding in the oh is he yeah, he's in my my bird's nest and then i was like where the hell is he he's chilling in the bird's nest <laughs> so i was like okay hopefully he doesn't screw around with my bird's nest but yeah i just wanted to make a quick video on the innovative and marine all-in-one um kind of rear chamber um uv sterilizer i know there's they make a couple other ones that go into the filter basket area there but that wasn't going to work for me because I have the filter basket um, fully stocked up with like media and then my uh, filter floss there. And obviously this side, I don't have the Innovative Marine with the double chambers on the 32 gallon, I think it is. So yeah, it's just, um, but yeah, it fits really good for the water box Peninsula. And I believe any other water box, because I know there's still room in the back there to put more um for a smaller chamber if it was a smaller tank. So yeah, that's the that's the Aqua Shield UV sterilizer 10 watt. So this one also um 
it is uh there's three models this one is going to be the strongest one it claims to be the strongest model that you can get for an all-in-one and uh yeah pretty happy with it all right guys thanks for watching